first decision Lot took outside of Abraham's influence landed him in Sodom and Gomorrah. That means his prosperity was not a function of his wisdom. He was under a grace of Abraham. Hear what I'm telling you. There are many of you who, if God is to allow you to learn all the business principles by yourself and start prospering, it may be till 20, 30 before you prosper. But he brings you after the order of Lot. It is one of the ways he redeems time by giving men favor. Because it takes time to learn the genuine secrets that produce lasting wealth. And the truth is that there are people who have gotten born again late. Before they now begin to learn these principles. A woman of 70 years, where is she going to learn 25 principles for prosperity? She's made the mistake she did not maximize destiny. But is God still a God of mercy? So God will bring Abraham to her. And she needs to have the wisdom of Lot. If you are Abraham, I am telling you, be faithful in hearing God. Because Lot, there are many Lots that are depending on your obedience. But if you are Lot, swallow your pride and honor Abraham. Because if you fight with Abraham, that is the end of your prosperity. The same Abraham that fought with Lot was the one who had to come and save Lot. And even in doing that, he lost his wife. You know what it means to lose your wife? The basis for your productivity. Pharaoh said, let the men go, but the women and children should remain. That means the men would die of old age, of natural cause, and there would not be transgenerational, there would not be continuity. Are we together? Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are some of you right now, by the mercy of God, and because of the covenant God had with your parents, instead of taking 10 years to start learning the principles, the truth is that time has gone. You already have five children. Before you learn all the rudiments, so what God does as an act of his mercy is he will let you hear when he's speaking to Abraham. As Abraham moves, you come as Lot. Provided you can be faithful, a day will come. You will not even know who God spoke to and who God or who is following. The mistake. Do you know the trouble between Abraham and Lot started from their men, not them? Their men. Train the people around you to know why the anointing is in your life. So that they do not, you don't lose the anointing and lose favor. I don't know why the Spirit of God is speaking this to me. I'm speaking to the entire globe. Listen to me. There are people right now, the reason why you will lose favor is because of your children. You have not taught your children that the church God planted you in is the reason why God is honoring them. And you are watching them dishonor the vessel that God is using to lift you. Learn from Lot. Remember Lot's wife, but remember Lot too. Two of them have a story to tell. Are we together now? Know when you are Abraham and know when you are Lot. Not everybody will be Abraham. You can look onto Abraham, but not everybody will be Abraham. There are people today, God has granted them an unusual grace. They can sit down where they are every year. They can have opportunity to give up to 30 people jobs. And because of your relationship with them, out of those 30 slots, they will give you 3-3 three, three every year. Make sure you don't fight these kind of people. Because the day that happens, that of, it will be the day your child now just graduates from school and is ready for a job and that door is closed. I pray for someone, whatever has taken you away from the blessing of Abraham as Lot, may my God, who is your God, bring restoration. May my God, who is your God, bring restoration. And if you are Abraham, I'm praying for you. The grace to stay until what God says manifest. May it happen for you. May that grace rest on you. So that all the lots connected to you will not wait in vain because of your disobedience. And Lot went with him. That was the wisest thing Lot did. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. When it was time for God to help the Ethiopian eunuch, he encouraged the servant Philip. He said, join this chariot for the sake of the man. 
join this chariot. If you leave this man alone, confusion will kill him. If you leave this man alone, he will never be saved. Join this chariot. Can I tell you, beware of the people God brings in your life. There are destructive people I taught you, but there are people who are gifts. When you see other people joining your chariot, discern. If it's God that has sent them there, respect their presence. It's not idleness that brought them. God sent them to your chariot so that you will understand the interpretation of what you are reading. You have opened the book of your destiny, but you cannot understand it. So God sends them to join the chariot. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I pray for the sick now? Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Believe. Do you know, Reverend Sam, I got to find out that there are four, I've discerned that there are four diseases that the devil is bringing to destroy people in the body of Christ. It didn't used to be an issue but it, the church seems to be keeping quiet over it and if we do not arise and pray number one is called cancer cancer thank god for the research that is being done in medicine but we need to pray and upgrade our levels of graces so that we can bring to end this this demonic thing that is killing people i know many people sadly who have died in the last two or three months because of this satanic thing. One time, I think it was a, some, maybe a few months ago, I was praying for people, and then this beautiful young lady, seven years, this little girl, swollen by that devilish thing. You would think it is old people, but now seven years, what did the girl do? Satan for you. Cancer. Cancer. Number two, that I want us to pray for is Satan is beginning to creep and he's fighting the next generation in the church and he's using the tool of infertility. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not a doctor, but there are many people who are all right. It is because of the coming of John that Elizabeth is suffering. It has nothing to do with Elizabeth. Even though later we know that it is God's plan, so that John will come just shortly after Jesus and not be discouraged. But all the same, infertility. You will see somebody who is all right, wife all right. Are we together? Or she will take in and then here comes this demonic, satanic, familiar spirit. An encounter. And we think it does not matter. I don't want to, you see, territorial advancement and preserving the purposes of God is transgenerational. Every time Satan begins to fight continuity, there is a goal, there is an agenda. I speak in parables. It's important for you to be discerning. The next 10 years with this onslaught of infertility on the church is going to deplete the strength of believers to a point where we will go back to Egypt and become slaves. This thing is a strategy and we must pray. Number three, Every madman Jesus saw in the Bible, he healed the person. There was one sickness Jesus did not tolerate. There were other sicknesses, some were healed, but madness was not one of it. To the point that Jesus crossed over to heal one person and returned back. A madman in Gadara. This thing called mental health. It's creeping gradually in Nigeria, it's not too much. But in Europe, America, you see children and they tell you mental health. Someone can pick a, a, a knife, kill himself, kill the mother, and begin to act. I mean, the stress that families, especially in Europe and U.S., are going to because of mental health. You have four children, and three of them are almost like madmen. You literally leave your destiny, and you are focused at managing them. Every time you see distraction away from purpose, it is Satan's strategy. When the nation of Israel were serving the Lord, he said it is because they have straw. Stop giving them straw. So that they will be busy looking for straw and they will not have the time to serve the Lord. This is number three. Are we together now? This is very important. The fourth one is not sickness per se like health, but is the spirit of lack 
and poverty. And Satan is using the strategy of borrowing. For as long as I am alive, I will never watch the church of God go down economically. It doesn't matter what people say or do not say. It is part of the mandate to help God's people with dignity and integrity. Correct the errors that are around the whole teaching on wealth that brings materialism. But to help God's people for God's sake to be empowered. If an unbeliever is the one training your child because of lack, that child will serve the God of that unbeliever. There is only one reason, hear me believers, why Egypt goes to, I used to say one, but I found two reasons now. There is one, there are two reasons why Israel goes to Egypt. Number one is to learn wisdom and knowledge. Number two is hunger. Are we together? Genesis 42, 1 and 2. There was hunger and Jacob spoke to his sons. He saw that there was corn, but the location was wrong. There was supply. He saw that there was money, but the man who has that money is a cultist. But I am hungry and my husband has five children. My husband has six children. And the cultist is saying, come, you will work with me. You will bow to my God and you will earn a salary of 200,000. And church people are saying, don't worry. God is faithful. Love him anyhow. And the person is getting into trouble. Genesis 42, 1. And now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, he said to his sons, why do you look upon one another? Verse 2. I have heard that there is corn. The only problem is that the location is not a good place. Get thee down Tita and buy for us. Yes, I know that the man sacrifices people, but just go, we are hungry. I know that the money the man wants to give me as a man of God is blood money, but what will I do? If I don't collect it, the church will not be built. I know that you are not called, you still bring it. The church needs to be empowered. It has become a disease. This thing called poverty. For as long as I'm alive, and for as long as God gives me the privilege of leadership over this ministry, I have vowed before God, and it's my covenant to you, that among many things that you must carry in this destiny, is the grace to live a life of dignity and honor. You believe that? Shout Amen. I will never raise the people who are just spiritually vibrant at the expense of their economic empowerment. I'm committed to bringing the whole counsel of God. Among the five benefits of God is that He satisfied your mouth with good things so that your days are renewed, your youth is renewed. Let's pray for the sick now. You deserve the glory. Please lay your hands. And the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship. As I bless your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. As we lift our hands in worship, as we bless your holy name, for you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. someone who is sick, you can lay hands on that person and we are honored to have I will always bless God for all the hospitals and the clinics that literally put these teachings during the miracle services for their patients there are literally clinics right now who are allowing either on screen or people using phones for their patients, it's such an honor to be able to bring the healing power of Jesus to these places, if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest. And I want you to believe in the healing Jesus. Remember, part of the things available in this feast is His power to heal. The Bible says the power of God was present to heal them. But He only ended up healing one person. 
I want to pray for you now. Believe. Believe. Only believe. When I pray for you, I'm going to give you instructions to check yourself. When I say check yourself, do it. That if your neck could not move, don't be afraid. Your feet could not move, don't be afraid. You came here with a walking aid, don't be afraid. Your hands are unable to be lifted, don't be afraid. I will pray for you. And let's see what God does tonight within the time that we have. Are you ready? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. We are here because we are believers. We believe in the cross. We believe in the blood of the eternal covenant that has brought eternal atonement for sin, for sickness. And Lord, we pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and ministering to your people and to the nations, many who are trusting God for all kinds of miracles in their bodies, many of them holding death sentences this moment as medical reports, Many of them, like the woman with the issue of blood, they have spent their earnings. They have spent their means of livelihood. They have lost jobs because of ill health. They've had many parts of their bodies deadened and weakened. I'm praying right now, oh God, that you honor every word that comes from the lips of your servant. Therefore, I pray, every spirit, my God, that is the, at the back of any disease, any infirmity, any health or mental distress, I command that spirit to give way now. I command that spirit to give way now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Right now, be healed. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare your internal organs be healed now your heart be healed now brain tumors disappear now the Lord is showing me someone you have a swelling at the back of your eye this is inside but it's affecting you in the name of Jesus the power of God is healing you right now There's someone you have, it is not a thyroid, I don't know if it's a thyroid problem, it's like goiter, but um, it's inside, just inside within your neck, and you are having a severe discomfort, it's like some kind of ulcer, some injury inside, you feel the pain, the power of God is touching you right now. Every heart problem be healed now. Someone is going to shout loud right now under the anointing. In the name of Jesus. God is correcting something in the body of that person. This is what I'm seeing. Every liver problem be healed now. Every damaged kidney jack back to life now. I saw this same case that I want to mention now when I was ministering at yesterday in Asaba I think it was yesterday either Asaba or Lagos I can't remember which there's someone you have a problem going to ease yourself to urinate it's like it's like you cannot pass urine freely I don't know what the name of the sickness is but it just comes in droplets you're not able and it's, it has severe pain this is what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus the power of God is resting on you now There's someone you are having severe ulcer. Severe ulcer. There are wounds inside you. And, and I mean, if you're going through all kinds of excruciating pain, I decree and declare, be healed now. I'm seeing someone, the Lord is showing me something. It's a very interesting thing I'm seeing. You, you are going through severe pain, almost like stomach cramps. But this happens all the time, always, literally. You cannot lie down. I'm seeing you having to hold a pillow and just to lie on it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is touching you right now. Now, every bone condition, bone conditions, you are not able to walk, you are not able to lift up your hands. In Jesus' name, be healed now. If you came with a neck collar, 
or some bracelet around your neck or around your joints. I decree and declare, may the power of God touch you. Be healed now. Be healed now. Brain damage. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Sleep apnea. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a disease called insomnia. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. The Lord, a miracle has happened there. Look at this. Bring her out. We're still praying. Bring her out. A miracle has happened there. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. She's removed her neck collar. Give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. Don't be distracted. We are still praying. Check them and make sure that let's pray. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm praying for someone. I don't know what problem you are having around your rib, your, your um, what they call it now? Um, your ribs. You feel severe pain. You are a sickler. This person, you are a sickler. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Now, um, please don't be embarrassed by the case I'm calling. There is someone, I'm seeing the Lord heal you. You are a lady. This is not just you lactating. What is coming out is not breast milk. This is something that is dangerous. I will not say more than that. But you are having a very serious situation. You need help right now. Because with what I'm seeing, that thing is degenerating and it's almost something that we don't want to say anything negative. But in the name of Jesus, whoever that person is, let the power of God touch you right where you are. Every shoulder pain be healed now. You came here with any walking aid and you could not walk. You are not able to move your legs. I decree and declare that you begin to walk now. I decree and declare that you begin to walk now. Let life and strength surge to your body right now. In the name of Jesus. And seeing someone, you could not lift your hands just as I'm lifting it now. But in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Now, whether I mention your case or not, for sake of time, be healed now. Outside, be healed now. All the other overflows, be healed now. Online, be healed now. I want you to check yourself now. Begin to do what you could not do. Begin to do what you could not do. There are miracles happening. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I'd like you to leave your seat right now. Let's take even if it's two or three miracles. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening inside. Miracles are happening outside. Check your body. Bend over backwards. Lift your leg. The moment you see that the power of God has touched you. In fact, the Lord is showing me someone. You are in the overflow outside. When you came and sat down, you could not see the screen clearly. But as I'm speaking now, I want you to look clearly. You will see that the power of God has touched your right eye particularly. Your right eye, a miracle has happened to you. In the name of Jesus, let's celebrate them as they come. While that is happening, all the ushers, please bring for me the prayer requests very quickly. Check yourself. You find out that a miracle has happened. I know that our time is gone. I don't want you to sit back. Remember what I said about testimonies. Let's just have, even if it's two, three people, come. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Koinonia, is this how you celebrate miracles? Those who have received miracles from outside, please make your way to the front. Check yourself. Do what you could not do. People are coming. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? Alright, begin to submit your prayer request too. We are doing all this at the same time. My God, Jesus is touching people. Um, there's someone you have a severe pain at the left side of your neck. I want you to check it now. It was even swollen. You will check and see that it's gone. Gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Let's take two or three testimonies very quickly. Yes, are you ready? Who is ready? Anyone who is ready, go ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sorry, Mama.
mama was having this problem last year. And mama was having what now? Neck problem. Neck problem. Yes. Then, but today she received her healing. She's today able to move her neck. Yes, she can move her neck. Can she hear me, mama? Move your neck. Look at this. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at this. Mama is saying she Hallelujah. Removed, Someone she is removed saying Amen. Oh, she, she removed it herself. Removed herself. Give it to her. Let her hold it. Let the devil see it. Mama, walk. Mama, go. Walk. Let the devil see you. Move your neck. Oh, hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. My goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Mama, we pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will go back and tell everybody in your house that you encountered Jesus at Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's celebrate our next person. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I used to have this severe pain on my waist for more than two years now. More than two years? Yes, sir. Then there's another pain on my knee. So that standing up becomes very difficult. Sometimes, that's of my waist. I have to walk like an old woman. Standing up, I have to act like an old woman. Walk like this. And now, so now I'm very walk. Free. Even run. Ah! Oh God of signs and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Video, video, help me. Hey, oh God of signs and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Video. It will never return to you again in Jesus name. Next person please. Let's do justice to time very quickly. Yes I please. You gave her the knowledge of toxicity. She has had it for nine years. Doc, let us speak. So I've had it for nine years. Nine years? Yes. Medically verified? Yes. I was even asked to do a surgery for it. And now? It turned on me. Immediately you said the word. It felt very light. I could not think for long before. I can't shout for long. But now, like, it feels very light. There's no pain at all. Shout, on Satan, you are a liar. Satan, you are a liar. Come on now. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. Very quickly. Next person. You gave a word of knowledge of someone who could not urinate. Now he has had severe pain in his mind for oh a very long time. Immediately you gave that word of knowledge, the pain disappeared. Have you gone to check yourself? Yes, I, I do treat it. I treat it. Uh, but now, the pain does not left the time I treat it. I still feel the pain. But now... I not Completely. Yes, in the name of Jesus, that satanic thing leaves you forever. Amen. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles? Amen. Yes, go ahead. Next person. Okay, yes sir. Please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, the lady you mentioned with um, sickle cell. Sam, can you help us, by... please? Let's, let's hear the testimony very quickly. Okay. Please make sure you are submitting your request. There are ushers with the basket. How many of you are yet to submit your request? Please do so very quickly. Do so whilst you're listening. Yes, please. Go ahead. I'm the lady you mentioned with sickle cell. And you are the sickle cell lady. Yes. Having pain. the pain. Yeah, the pain was diagnosed as... Um, Gallstone, kidney gallstone. Kidney gallstone. Yes. When you started the prayer, I felt the pain, but right now I can't see it anymore. Completely. Check yourself. Check yourself. It's gone. Don't cry. Come and manifest your power. Dideo, dideo. Manifest your power. Dideo. look at me. Don't try. Many of you may never know what it means to be a sickler, number one, and then to have these kinds of situations. I'm praying for you. Not only that God has healed this, but may He do a miracle on your genotype. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Next person, please. Very quickly. Very quickly. So, Apostle, a very fantastic testimony. Yes, please. Sir, you mentioned my dad's case. For as long as I've known him, he can't pee without pain and difficulty. For as long as you... Yes. Wow. So last week he, I wanted to call him to send me money. He told me that he wants to buy a drug and it's over a hundred thousand because of his prostate uh, issue. Okay. So I now put him on speaker when you were praying. I said, Daddy, just you put him on speaker. Yeah, I said, just hold the apostles about, and you mentioned this case that there's someone that has difficulty. Yes. And immediately I told him to check himself. He said he doesn't feel the pain anymore. That he 
the centurion said speak the word only in the name of Jesus we pray for all family members connected across the globe who are not here on site the same power that is bringing miracles to people here we extend the same to any nation any region any territory in the name of Jesus Christ and for your dad his healing remains permanent forever in Jesus name next person very quickly Apostle. Yes. Three, four years, bloody vision healed. She's in the overflow, but immediately you declare that word, she fell under the anointing and she can see properly now. She can see. Yes, sir. Our two eyes. Yes, sir. Go ahead. What happened to you? Uh, you, you, you mentioned that. She's, she's still under the anointing. Oh, she's under the anointing. When the person came, he was not able to see the screen very well. Yes. You, you know, are the lady. I should look at you. I should look at you now. That I will see that I can see you clearly. And I looked at the screen. It was sharp. And it was. Like, oh dear. Oh yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the God of wonders perfect his miracle. It will never, never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Difficulty in hearing for over 25 years. Over 25 years. In Let fact, him speak. He, he said that his wife told him that he's going to leave her because every time he talks to his wife, he always says, uh huh, uh huh. Let, let now, him talk. Very, very quickly, sir. Yes. Uh, what happened to you? I can hear now. You can hear now? Yes. I like this man. Straight to the point. No beating about the bush. That's the most important thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare, come on, Koinoni, are you giving Jesus praise? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He will never return to you again. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Yes, Pastor Jake, go ahead. So, Apostle, she was just healed of fibroid. Fibroid? She felt the pain. It was swollen. It How long, my dear? Um, it's getting to, I don't know, maybe two to three years. Do I saw you in, in my dream. Was it last month? Yes. Now, what happened to you now? Now I am okay. You are okay. Yes. So you go to the med make sure you go to the medical stand to confirm it. Yes. But we give Jesus praise for this miracle. Place your hand there. That devil leaves never to return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. So again, you guys are going to sing this song. I hope you are ready. I've been so stressed I can't shout it, but we must sing it. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Yes. Go ahead. Praise God. Uh, my mom, if I'm talking to my mom on phone, I have to repeat and repeat. Now I put her in my, in my prayer. Your so, mom? Yes. Where is she? She's in Ogun State. Ogun State? Yes, sir. So after you said that, we should sit down with her, or anybody that has prayer, testimony yes. from her. I, I called her and I was telling her that, Mommy, I put you in prayer. Can you hear me now? She said she can hear. I can hear very well. I can hear. My God. In the name of Jesus, that miracle becomes perfected forever by the power of the Holy Spirit. Next person, very quickly. Apostle. Okay, yeah. This is a 16-year-old girl. 16 year old And she has been lactating for the past five months. Oh my God. What in the world is this one now? But God, 16 years. Her. Yes, sir. And the medically, medically, let the doctor the, talk. Yes, yeah, so she told me that she has been lactating and she's been having breast pain. So I took her to the medical center and I expressed her breast. There was no pain and there was no discharge. Look at this. Let me see the lady. Don't be ashamed, my dear. 16 years. Look at how wicked the devil is. A small girl like this. Oh God of signs and wonders. Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Oh, you have manifest your power. What's your name? What's her name? Don't cry. My name is Gift. Gift? Yes. May you be a gift to our world. We bless you and we declare that satanic thing, whatever is wrong with your body that is resulting to that, you are healed forever. And you will go and excel in school. You will be an exceptional child in the name of Jesus. Let's give Jesus praise. Apostle, this is a love of several miracles here. Pain in the neck. Pain in the hand, pain in the chest, they are all healed all kinds by of, the power of God. Okay, all kinds of pain from your head to your toe, whether it's head, back, once it is pain. In the name of Jesus, we give Jesus thanks for this supernatural manifestation. You are healed, it will never return again. Let's shout Amen. 
So once I've mentioned your case, you can go back rejoicing in Jesus' name. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of someone with pain behind her eyes. Pain behind growth, your growth, eyes. Growth behind her eyes. Let she has had it for five years. Okay, since 2021, I've been having pains behind my eyes. I yes. can't really see. I'm sensitive to light. So when I went to the doctor, they checked me and they said, there is a growth behind your eyes. Me, your pituitary gland is getting enlarged. And since then, I've been wearing glasses. I can't see natural and special light. I'm always bringing water out of my eyes. That's why I wear glasses. But I can't see any distance. But light is very sensitive to my eyes. But right now? But right now, I can't see any light. Do you feel any pain? Just a little. In the name of Jesus, eyes. let that little go. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We give Jesus praise. Pastor Jake, you ready? Let's take from. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Something is wrong. The mic? Oh, dear. Okay, let's take one or two there. Who is ready now? Sir. Sir. can work on our mic. Yes. Sickness in the neck. Let him speak. What's your name, sir? Apostle, my name is Frank Etuk. Yes, please. I came to this place with a stiff neck. I could not, if I want to talk to this sister now, I'll just do like this or not. But Apostle, look at this. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Come on, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. Come and manifest your presence. Sir, in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. This is how you will go back. You will look left and look right and see blessings waiting for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. Is the mic working now? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay, so this is my little brother. When we were little, yes. we were playing. So compass. Co- compass from Master. Oh, compass from Master. Yes. My and goodness. He entered his right eye. So he had to travel so- for surgery and they changed his lens. So now, as you mentioned the case of someone that could not see from her father, could not see you clearly. Yes. He said he can now see clearly. You can see me now. Look at this miracle. As a young man, compass from Master, hurt his eyes, he went for surgery, changed his lens. And right now, place your hand on your eyes. Let me pray for you. Father, this miracle remains permanent. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing here tonight? In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. Very quickly, next person, God bless you. Apostle, you mentioned that somebody that has a boy inside the eye is not outside. So I've had the problem for over 10 years now. And sometimes, pulse used to come from the inside of the eye. So when I came for the program, I was not seeing clearly. It seems as if they used white leather to cover my eyes. But when you mention the case, I hold my eyes. The, the pen disappeared. And I can see this side now. But before... Oh, you went, couldn't see this direction? Yes. My goodness. What do we tell Jesus for this kind of thing? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over this, your lovely daughter. This miracle that has happened to her remains permanent forever. In the name of Jesus. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. When I came to church this morning, I had very painful sore throat. Yes. And I was feeling heavy, like terrible heavy. But immediately you prayed for us, everything just vanished. And Gone completely. Yes. I declare it remains permanent for you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. Apostle, as your access to shout scream jesus i was having a sore throat here and the pain it was so swollen so maybe i, I just m- mentioned jesus before i could realize everything disappeared now listen let me show you what god is saying through these miracles number one god is restoring vision number two god is restoring your voice your voice is where your relevance is when the devil fights your voice, he asks John, he says, Who are you? He says, I'm the voice of one calling. Are we together? Number three, God is giving you the ability. Watch this now. He told Abraham, he says, Look left, right, northwards, southwards, eastwards. God is broadening your horizon. These miracles are not just body miracles. They are also prophetic messages. That's why God is re-emphasizing again. Once I have spoken, but it's your responsibility to hear and hear again. Are we together? Yes. And right now it's gone. In the name of Jesus, it remains permanent for you. Let's see if we can have three or four. My goodness, we have to walk with time. Five years pain in the nails. Pain in the nails. How long? Five years, sir. Five years. Five years. What couldn't you do? I 
couldn't bend. Even when I was walking on the stairs, this it, it was, was difficult. Up, it was difficult. Try go, bending. Go. Look at this. And he's tall, so it's not really very easy. I was shocked. I was shocked. I had to test it upstairs over and over, even on the stairs while coming down, just to be sure that it was gone. Jesus for you, sent with love from heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, it remains permanent. Yes, please. The doctor has the test. Ah, doctor yourself. Yes. That's right. I took some medication last week and I started having gastritis. I was in so much pain and discomfort. I had to eat frequently. So I came to church with the pain. I was just coping. But when you were ministering, before you started praying, when you were talking about the four things that's happening to the church, while you were saying it, I was already under the anointing. And then when I, I got up, the pain is gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. It remains permanent. Your healing. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. The doctor will want to speak for this person. Please, very quickly. So she, said she has a um, Mystenia Gravis diagnosed about three years ah. now. Doctors, doctors, doctors. We love you. You read well. What in the world does that mean? She, huh? She's unable, unable to raise her hand up. You mentioned that case. Unable to raise her hand up. Oh, that is it? <laughs> that long thing? No, I'm, I'm joking. I mean, come on. It's good to be knowledgeable. Uh, Did you hear the name? And then when you minister, she's not able to lift her hand, but she wants to speak for herself. Go ahead. One minute. In fact, uh, ten seconds. Go the weakness straight. is my general body. But when you asked me to lift my hand, I was able to lift it up to five times. My legs are still shaking, but I know that by God's grace... I'm oh, your, your whole body? Yes, it's the whole body. It's this is her mother. Her mother is here. Oh, Mama, you are her mother? Yes, sir. Well, how has it been before now? So we went to hospital. They said she has mysteria gravis. So she has weakness of body. Oh, that thing the doctor mentioned. Yes, that was what the doctor said. But I know with God. That one In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We decree and declare, Mama, I pray for both you and the daughter. Let the power of God rest on you. We bring perfection to this condition. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I'm praying for your waist there. Back pain. In Jesus' name. You are standing for your daughter, but I rebuke, I rebuke back pain. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, we have one more testimony here. Okay. With, with your permission. Okay, please, we don't pleasure. Like... Let's see. It's all right. Don't be in a rush to go. There are... well, you can go if you want to, but we are going to speak over people this night. Yes, go ahead. It's all right. My name is Abba Gabriel. For the more, more than five years now, I've been having pain in this my right ear. So I couldn't hear clearly. But pain? That, yes, pain in my right ear. So I couldn't hear clearly. But when Apostle was listing the menu of what you can achieve in the medical service, that the power to heal is available here. Immediately, I just hear a pop on my ear and immediately I started to hear. That's it. In the name of Jesus, my friend, let the power of God touch you now, bringing you life perfection. It never returns again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. So we have these testimonies from those online. This is from Elisa from USA. I got healed of a right shoulder tear that causes pain for me over the year. I got healed right now. Apostle, you mentioned the shoulder case. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much. You are watching. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. This is from Port Harcourt. This is from Joy in Port Harcourt. She says, God is good. I was already dozing off from trying to escape the stomach pain. I was having I was having while watching today's service. Apostle said you are supporting yourself with a pillow and your hands are on your stomach. Immediately I got healed. Glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, Potter God, healing comes for you. Yes. We have one more from someone watching from Abuja here. The person says, I want to return all glory to God for my supernatural healing. I had my baby via cesarean section two months ago. They said there's a back pain that comes with it and that I have to forbear. I refused to bear. When Apostle mentioned that we should check ourselves, I bent over and started checking myself. And there is no pain whatsoever. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus praise. Okay, let's take two of there's about two or so because we're going to pray. There are lots of requests here. Go Our mommy came in from Anabra. This is her son. Okay. Difficulty in working for 10 years. 10 years. So the son had to travel home to go and bring her for this. Oh, he brought her here. Mama, let us speak. What happened? Or oh, the boy, whichever. Yeah, she has been having this leg pain for more than 10 years. And we've spent a lot of money in the office. Just last month, we finished treating it. 
Then she called me again that the thing has started. I even had this in my dream. You came all the way from the yeah, east. From, uh, yeah, today we arrived today. So why come in? She couldn't walk well. So, but immediately after the prayer, she, it was, she had a knock on her leg. So everything now, she's even her chest pain. So Mommy, she, look at me. Mama, walk. Look at this. Let me tell you the truth. Listen, let me teach you something. Results are very powerful. Honestly, results are very powerful. They have a unique ability to exalt the name of Jesus and to bring glory to the saints. I'm praying, Mama, in the name of Jesus, you will go back to the east and you will tell every one of them that Jesus is alive. And for the gentleman who brought your mother here, may God honor you and position destiny helpers around your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we take the final one? The long pains in the neck, pains, pains in, the chest, in Jesus' eye name. Conditions healed. You are healed forever in Jesus' name. Everybody rise, please. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands, everybody, by faith. That includes those watching online, watching from television. Go ahead. If there are still requests coming, please. This is our final miracle service for 2023. Not the final service, by the way. I hope you know that. We we'll announced for the final service. We still have about um, three weeks or thereabouts. Hallelujah. Go ahead and begin to speak over this request. It's the most accurate representation of your desires. Remember what I told you? When your desires and expectations are defined, then you are able to receive. Someone is praying. I'll bow my knees as I pray. Whilst you also pray right there. Go ahead and pray. Father, manifest your power over this request in the name of Jesus please help me appreciate Reverend Sam I will invite him to just come and speak over the request and then you speak over our lives and then we'll wrap up give him a big God bless you give him a big God bless you give him a big God bless you hallelujah let us pray can we just stretch our hands in this direction over this request? Father, we thank you. You're the God that answers prayer. There are no impossibilities before you. We spread our hands over this request. And with the amen of the saints, we decree and declare, contentions over your promotion is over. When Apostle was praying, that was one of the things that I heard. And I want to decree again. Somebody due for the next office. Somebody, I saw, I saw about 71 offices vacant. And the Lord said, the contention over your promotion is over. The contention over your promotion is over. The contention over your promotion is over. I hear in my spirit clearly the contention over your marriage is over. The contention over your marital settlement is over. I am hearing congratulations in your father's house. In 2024, there will be wedding back to back. In 2024, there will be wedding back to back. There's a family here, three ladies are not married. And the Lord said the door has just been opened. The door has just been opened. The door has just been opened. There is a family who thought, you have thought this will be the year you will conceive. And every attempt for conception did not happen. The Lord said, begin to rejoice because by this same time next year, you shall have your baby to celebrate. 
you will come on this altar by this same time next year to celebrate in the name of Jesus. Apostle, I'm hearing the door of the nations have just been opened for so many. Rejection is over. Rejection is over. Your visas are granted. I see 74 of you. Scholarships have just been released. It should be scholarship after scholarship. Your PhD is sorted out. Your master sorted out. In the name of Jesus Christ. When Apostle was praying for you, I saw chains falling. And the Lord took me to Acts 16. The Bible says at midnight when Paul was praying, the Bible said the chain of all the prisoners fell down. And their doors were opened at once. And the Lord is saying concerning your request here, doors are opened unto you now. The door of your lifting has just been opened. The door of your advancement has just been opened. The door of a career change has just been opened. The door of finances has just been opened. The door of finances has just been opened. You are coming out of debt. You are paying off your debts. The door of joy has just been opened for you. The door of a turnaround has just been opened unto you. Every request represented here, one after the other, I decree back to back answers. Back to back answers. Back to back answers. Back to back answers. You will return to testify on this altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what family it is, but the Lord said you have been crying to him because of premature death. And the Lord said the door of premature death has just been closed in your family. The door of premature death has just been closed in your family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you the glory and the praise for this request. We give you the honor and the adoration for this request. Thank you for marriages. Thank you for children. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for turnarounds. Thank you for promotion. There is a military officer here. The Lord said your promotion has just been released. We give you the praise and the glory. Let your name forever be praised. That the Lord just said I should declare this over some people here. I'm hearing the word finishing. Now listen, listen. There are people under the sound of my voice. You are, I've seen so many projects that have been started. But somewhere you got stuck and you couldn't, you got stuck, you just couldn't finish. And I'm hearing it's a pattern in the family. They start things, they don't finish. They start things, they don't finish. Whosoever you are, inside and outside, the Bible says, And Solomon finished the building. And Solomon completed the building. With your hand upon your head and your amen so loud, receive the finishing anointing. With your hand upon your head and your amen so loud, receive the finishing anointing. Receive the finishing anointing. As I leave you, I mean, I'm just hearing apostle, I'm hearing, and David recovered all. 
please, I don't know your name. I wish I can put your name there. But for all these requests, recover all. Recover lost time. Recover lost opportunity. Recover the years that Kankawama has taken. Recover the years the locals have taken. On this altar, we decree and declare, recover all. Thank you so much for watching this powerful video. I hope you were blessed. Apostle Joshua Selman is really a blessing to our generation. If you loved this video, I encourage you to implement the prayers, the wisdom you've heard from the video. I pray for you that you won't just be a hearer of this word, but equally a doer of the word. God bless you. Don't forget to share these videos with your family and friends. Comment on the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you've not. Bye for now. See you in the next video. God bless you.